All right, friends, so now we're going to be drawing our figures in our background. You can do either a girl ballerina or a boy ballerina, or you can do both. I'm going to be drawing one of each so you can see what they look like. So we're going to start with a pencil in case you make a mistake. But the thing with the pencil is if you push too hard and then you go to erase, it won't erase that well. So just be really careful and draw lightly. So for the girl ballerina, I'm going to start first with an upside down triangle for the top of her body. And then for the bottom, I'm going to do a right side triangle that's a little bit bigger. And if you want the dress to be really flowy, you can kind of play around with the bottom of that. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to come along the edges of that triangle and I don't want my ballerina so tiny in the middle. So I'm going to just come out and do a curve where those two triangles meet like this. Now using an eraser, I'm going to erase that area between very gently. Okay, so that's how you do the body of the girl. Now for the boy. They're not going to have a triangle because usually male dancers have more of a flatter edge to their body. So you're going to space away from here to save room for the legs and arms on this dancer. And for the boy dancer, I'm going to do it square for the upper body, the torso. And then for the legs, I'm going to do rectangles. So I'm going to have one, think about how I want my legs positioned. Maybe one down here and maybe I want one of his legs up so I'm going to do a rectangle like this. Okay so now I'm going to take my sharpie and I'm going to outline those shapes I did. Their bodies right now we need to do their arms their necks and their legs so when you think about this artist I showed you this contemporary artist he elongated a lot of the arms and legs and the heads to create some extra movement so for the head on the girl you're gonna come up from her body a little bit and draw an oval and then on top of that oval another circle and then we're gonna fill them in And then you're going to do a line that goes from there to there. And then for her arms, right where the corners of the top of her blouse are, you're going to draw some arms. Think about how you want those arms to flow. I might just have her put her arms up like this. And then for her legs, you're going to draw them somewhere under the dress. And again, think about how you want those legs to flow. Okay, so for the boy, we're going to do another oval, but we're not going to give him a circle on the top because he's not going to have a bun. He's going to have a neck, and he's also going to have some arms that are going to flow in whatever direction you want them to go. Okay, so now we're going to thicken where the um, arms meet the body because your arms are going to be thicker where they touch the body. So I'm just going to go in with my Sharpie and kind of thicken the area closest to the corner. And then same thing with our legs. The bottom of our legs are thicker. And then with the head too, we're going to just angle it out a little bit for the neck. Now you're going to do the same thing with the boys, arms, legs, and neck. Alright, that's it for now. We'll color the outfits next time.